laboratory preparation of hydrogen so hydrogen is prepared in the lab in the different way by action of the zinc on dilute hydrochloric acid or dilute sulfuric acid we can prepare the hydrogen in the lab uh, uh, the practicals will be done in the school right if we add the zinc to dilute hydrochloric acid or dilute sulfuric acid you will get the following respective compounds and the hydrogen will be liberated so that is the process in which zinc will be reacted with dilute hydrochloric acid or dilute sulfuric acid to produce the respective salt that is zinc chloride or zinc sulfate and finally hydrogen will be liberated that is the main process is it clear uh, how we can prepare hydrogen in lab means you should write the following uh, uh, this equation and you should explain if you react zinc with dilute hydrochloric acid or dilute sulfuric acid you will get uh, hydrogen in the lab now why we will use granulated zinc only granulated is important granulated means these zinc are made into piece why you will use this granulated zinc only because zinc contains impurities you can use sodium also right the sodium also gives the same reaction sodium plus dilute hydrochloric acid or dilute sulfuric acid will give you sodium chloride plus hydrogen hydrogen is liberated but why just a second NaCl plus H2 but here also we are getting hydrogen only but why are, why we are using zinc only because this zinc contains impurities impurities which acts as a catalyst catalyst means it speeds up the reactions zinc contains the impurities which speeds up the reaction that is catalyst which contains catalyst which speeds up the reaction that's why we will use zinc only in the laboratory for preparation of hydrogen so there is a procedure to prepare hydrogen with the help of the zinc so in the round bottom flask we have taken the granulated zinc there are two funnels the first funnel is this and the second one is this the first funnel we will pour pour the dilute hydrochloric acid you can pour dilute sulfuric acid also after pouring the reaction will occur after the this reaction will occur after the occurring of reaction it will it will release the hydrogen gas the hydrogen gas is re, uh, taken from the second funnel means this funnel it goes and reaches into the water and later it is uh, it is taken away by downward displacement which displacement downward downward displacement displacement of water hydrogen is collected over downward displacement of water why it is collected over downward displacement of water because it will, hydrogen will not react with the water and it is easy to clear easy to take in the downward displacement downward displacement means it will displace this water it will displace this water in this funnel uh, that uh, in this trot and it will be collected here is it clear the one uh, point you should remember hydrogen is collected as downward displacement of water in the laboratory now procedure is important now the first few drops of hydrogen gas are not collected because they may contain some impurities and you should not bring any flame near the apparatus because hydrogen is inflammable if you bring any candle it will burn blast away so hydrogen is partially soluble partially means it is little soluble therefore when collected over the water it contains the moisture so it is passed through mercury hydrogen when collected over this downward displacement it contains some moisture means water vapor will be there so that's why to remove the water vapor we will pass over the mercury hydrogen will be collected here after collection there will be some water vapor present to remove the tight water vapor we will pass over this mercury is it clear that only have written they have written here since hydrogen is lighter than air lighter than air it is not it is possible to collect gas over downward displacement of air so one question you might have got is why we are collecting hydrogen just a second why we are collecting hydrogen in downward displacement of water why we are collecting hydrogen in the downward displacement of water why not in the downward displacement of air why we are not collecting in downward displacement of air why we are collecting in only in downward displacement of water 
there is a reason for it the reason is that the reason is that if we collect the hydrogen in the downward displacement of air it leads to a explosion burst will happen because hydrogen there are some uh, hydrogen when connected to downward displacement of air air contains some impurities such as oxygen it reacts with its oxygen to form yes that is of water you should balance that always you should write the equation in balanced way only okay and this reaction is explosive hydrogen it forms explosive reaction so it is not collected over downward displacement of air it is collected over downward displacement of water so here if you examine this carefully you will see that uh, you are using hydrochloric acid or sulfuric acid why we are not using HNO3 the nitric acid why we are not using because there is one reason because nitric acid is good oxidizing agent you will learn what is oxidizing agent in the next chapter that's why we are not using this uh, dilute HNO3 okay is it clear that you need to that point you need to remember so what is this reactivity series reactivity series is a series of metal in which metals are arranged in the decreasing order of their reactivity this is the definition what is metal reactivity series metal reactivity series is a series of metals these are the metals in which metals are arranged in the decreasing order means this is the potassium is highest reactive second platinum is the least reactive as you go down the reactivity decreases the metals are arranged in the decreasing order of the reactivity the highest reactive metal is the potassium and the least reactive metal is platinum okay and these metals which are below hydrogen in the series are not reactive they will not react with anything if you take water or dilute acid they will not reactive metals which are below hydrogen these are the metals which are below hydrogen will not react with anything to produce hydrogen that you need to remember in further also um, we will learn we will learn it okay how can we prepare hydrogen how can we prepare hydrogen from cold water fascinating right see the highest reactive metals such as sodium potassium calcium if you see the activity series also sodium potassium just a second sodium potassium calcium the highest reactive they can react with the cold water also to produce hydrogen see they are reacting with cold water they are acting with the cold water to produce the hydrogen right so how can we prepare from uh, hot water if you take magnesium and add hot water it forms magnesium hydroxide and hydrogen how can we prepare hydrogen from the steam if you take the magnesium and reacts with the steam it forms magnesium oxide and hydrogen see i am stressing on it because see the both reaction if you take if you react magnesium with hot water it forms magnesium hydroxide and hydrogen if you react magnesium over steam it forms magnesium oxide and hydrogen oxide and nitrogen right so same reaction you should learn the balanced reaction of it okay zinc aluminium iron if you react with a steam it forms the oxides and nitrogen will be liberated right and if you look at the iron iron should be red dot and later it should be reacted with a steam means to say that first you should eat that iron piece later if you react it with the steam then only it will form triferic tetraoxide this formula is important and later it from produces hydrogen that's the complicated thing in iron aluminium and zinc and uh, magnesium and all if you react directly with the steam it forms the uh, respective metallic oxide and hydrogen will be liberated but in the cases of iron you should react with the you should first eat that iron and later it will pass through the steam then only it will produce the hydrogen okay now one thing we are using zinc only in the laboratory in 11th and 10th when you go for laboratory you will only get to know we are using only zinc in laboratory why because sodium and potassium as we discussed that sodium and potassium are highly explosive whereas this calcium and magnesium are highly expensive whereas this aluminium if you see the reaction aluminium see the oxygen number is great right 
in this case of aluminium it forms a protective oxygen layer hence it is it reduces the effective of the metal to produce hydrogen hydrogen will be produced less in the case of aluminium because there is oxygen which is attached more oxygen is attached in case of magnesium and calcium it is expensive costly in case of sodium and potassium it is violent speed and explosion will take place sometimes fire in case of iron and as i uh, tell it need to be heated first heating only will cost more money right in case of lead lead also forms this insoluble chloride and sulfate which stops the reaction all right in case of copper mercury i have explained about copper mercury here only this copper mercury will not react with anything to produce hydrogen right so that's why only zinc can be used zinc is not ex um, not expensive it is easy it is cheap and so it is it is it will not react violently and it will not form this uh, coating and it will produce hydrogen in large number and zinc we should not eat also zinc Di directly you take zinc and add it to the um, what hydrochloric acid we'll get this hydrogen and Now that's why we will use zinc only because these elements have these bad effects, right? So thank you. If you like this video, please do like it and subscribe it.